And with lots of sunshine throughout the day today and temperatures that will eventually get up to near the freezing mark, we will start to melt a little bit of that snow off. But as Julie mentioned, certainly need to shovel the sidewalks and then let the sun do its magic. Here's a live look in Bloomington right now across the campus of IU. Plenty of snow still on the ground down in Monroe County. And the temperature in Bloomington right now sits at 18 degrees. The winds are calm to our south, but here in Indianapolis, there is a pretty good breeze, and that is putting wind chill values down in the single digits. Actual temperatures in the teens and 20s in most locations except for Peru. You're sitting at 7 degrees right now. It's 17 in Fishers, 22 in Columbus, 24 is the current temperature in Seymour and 20 as you make your way down into the Bedford area. But this is what it really feels like. Again, the winds are calm in Bloomington, so not factoring in any of the wind chill there. Uh, but single digits from Indianapolis to the north, it feels like minus 3 right now in Peru, so you certainly need to bundle up. But we will go from this very cold start up to temperatures near freezing later on this afternoon with pretty quiet weather conditions. So that is certainly good news as we go throughout the course of the day today. A beautiful shot of the Monon uh, Bridge there just north of 65th Street covered in snow. Again, it's a cool start for us, but 23 degrees by the noon hour up to a high temperature today of 30 degrees. So while today is nice and quiet, the overall weather pattern does remain very active. The clouds will thicken up throughout the course of the evening hours by about 11 30, 12 o'clock. We're still dealing with dry conditions, but then we will watch precipitation develop as we head into tomorrow morning's commute. And actually, as this precipitation comes in, it's bringing warmer air with it. We have the potential for some freezing rain. Yeah, freezing rain threat, a very real threat for us tomorrow morning as we'll see this system slide in. Now, freezing rain is a threat early in the morning. In the afternoon, we're talking quite a bit of rain, so flooding becomes an issue. And then by Wednesday, we're talking the possibility of seeing more snow. So here we go, TrueCast, picking it up with tomorrow morning. 5.30 a.m. tomorrow morning, we're seeing freezing rain slide over the area from Indianapolis into Greensburg into Terre Haute. Freezing rain slides over you throughout the morning commute. And with this threat of freezing rain, of course, we're talking light icing on the roadways. So that's going to become difficult for you to travel out for your morning commute. Temperatures will begin to surge. They'll warm up, but the damage is already done for the morning hours. Your afternoon, we're talking just rain. Rain in the forecast from Peru to Indianapolis and to Bloomington. So just a rain event in the afternoon because the temperatures actually surge for many areas to the 40s. Quite a bit of rain really throughout the day tomorrow. I think at 4 p.m. during your evening commute, we're still dealing with rain. As a result, it's melting the snow and creating just slushy road waves for you. Temperatures begin to fall late Tuesday night into Wednesday. That sets us up to see snow on Wednesday. So tomorrow, a weather action day that's freezing rain to wintry mix possible over the area. And here comes the snow. This is Wednesday. Wednesday's event slides in in the morning hours as well, bringing light snow accumulations. A minor event for us, but we're going to monitor this system as it will bring more snow to your forecast. Thursday, we deal with our next issue. Thursday, the issue will be the cold air that settles in behind the system. A high temperature of only 17 degrees. We're talking near record cold on Thursday. But after the system moves out, here's what happens. My pick of the week, I have two. Saturday looks fantastic in the upper 30s and dry. Sunday looks wonderful upper 30s and dry. Seven day planning forecast temperatures remain pretty mild for you as you get into the weekend. But today is a cold one at 30 degrees, mostly sunny, some slick spots on the roadways. So travel safe. That's